Documentary filmmaker Michael Moore just dropped a truth bomb inside the right-wing Trump and Z fever swamp, which left them hollering, screaming, and spewing hate, proving his point precisely. Moore said, I refuse to participate in post-racial America. I refuse to say because we elected Obama that suddenly that means everything is okay. White people have changed. White people have not changed. He continued, two-thirds of all white guys voted for Trump. That means anytime you see three white guys walking at you, down the street towards you, two of them voted for Trump. You need to move over to the other sidewalk because these are not good people that are walking towards you. You should be afraid of them. They see white guys like you and me who don't support Trump as race traitors. Interest, if you were a, a government person in charge of this stuff, just your self-interest would be like, I am going to get fucked yeah. for this because white people with money fuck you and you're going you're gonna to act immediately. But black people with no money, what's going to happen to me? I mean, I'm not saying they want black people yeah. poisoned, but it's kind of like, okay, we've got some time. We'll figure this out. We'll keep it quiet. It's not and urgent. Not urgent. No. Why would it be urgent? They're black. Yeah. That you was. Know? That and, was. And I'm sick of. I'm just. I yeah. refuse to participate in post-racial America. I refuse yeah. to. Say because we elected Obama, that suddenly that means everything's okay. White people have changed. White people have not changed. The, the, the two thirds of all white guys voted for Trump. That means anytime you see three white guys walking at you down the street toward you, two of them voted for Trump. You need to move over to the other sidewalk because these are not good people yeah. that are walking towards you. You should be afraid of them. And the on third one probably says, I'm thinking about voting for Trump. Right. Yeah, the, th well, no, no, the third one is yeah. you, is you yeah, and me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, <laughs> right. we're like, we're traitors. We're traitors to our race. That's how they see us, too, by the way. Right. You know? In the words of Andrew Gillum, a hit dog will holler. Over at the white nationalist heaven known as Breitbart, the hollering in the comments section from the Trumpets is uncontrollable. Always remember, people like Michael Moore who bring race into every conversation are the biggest racists themselves. And that's just about every Democrat. I always vote based on the character of the person, not their skin color. Herman Cain should have been our first black president. I supported him 100%. Yeah, right. So you agree with President Obama on Libya or not? Okay, Libya. President Obama supported the uprising, correct? President Obama called for the removal of Gaddafi. Just want to make sure we're talking about the same thing before I say, yes, I agreed. I, I know I didn't agree. Um, I do not agree with the way he handled it for the following reason. Um, no, that's, that's a different one. Um, You know, I got to go back and see. Uh, got all this stuff twirling around in my head. Um. More dingbats continue to holler, showing their racism, proving Moore's point. The globalists want to replace Americans with third world immigrants that are much easier to control and will vote for their own slavery in return for a few crumbs from the table. White genocide is the globalist master plan. Racist Obama was their lead into destroying us and Clinton would have buried us. President Trump is the only one that stands between us and them. Triumphant Trump 2020. He was raised by card-carrying communist grandparents, a whacked-out anti-US, anti-white mother, and an Indonesian stepfather, and groomed by Bill Ayers and family. Of course, some right-wing media outfits, like Real Clear Politics, run gaslighting headlines, like this, deliberately insinuating that Moore says all white people are not good people. Moore went on to ruffle even more right-wing snowflake feathers during an interview with Democracy Now!, Moore hilariously burned down Trump bootlicking Republicans who oppose impeachment, saying they are dying dinosaurs. So what I saw from that front row of the gallery last Wednesday was um, both um, a bit exhilarating and frightening. Exhilarating in the sense that um, you could see that on the Democratic side that they, many of them, had found the courage of their convictions, had found their their soul, their guts, to stand up for this. Even though the polls show it's kind of a 50-50 in the country on impeachment, a little more in favor of it, um, but nonetheless, a risky proposition, especially for a number of Democrats in swing districts.
the fact that they would take that stand in such a profound way and all the eloquence of what they were saying at the microphone was was and I could watch the Republicans as they were saying these eloquent and necessary things. And you don't see that on C-SPAN. And, and the Republicans are over there, uh, you know, guffawing, doing, a, you know, mocking these Democrats. Uh, the mocking level goes up uh, if it's someone of color, if it's a woman, if it's somebody who's not them. Because when you're looking over at the Republican side, man, is that white and old and male. And it's stunning that in 2019 that that it looks like an episode of, of Leave it to Beaver over there um, and, and not the real America that we live in. See, I think they're so angry. They're so, when they go to the microphone, they'd say these spewing this anger and and all the all the angry old men in their seats squirming and they'd be making these sounds. The very last sound they made. When the vote, when it passed, that Trump was impeached, um, Pelosi had told the Democrats, no applause, no cheering. You know, if you go back and listen to that, the cheering you hear is myself and my sister, <laughs> my friend Basil. <laughs> and, uh, and so, uh, the, uh, but the Republicans let out this noise, this otherworldly noise that it wasn't a boo. It was like a... Uh, It's like, wow. And I said to my sister, that is what the dying dinosaurs must have sounded like in their final moments. So the good news is here, those are the dying dinosaurs. And they know it. They know it because the demographic has changed. It's not their America anymore. It's it's 70 percent of the eligible voters next November are either women, people of color or young people between 18 and 35. That's the majority of the people eligible to vote next year, not them. They're the minority, they know it, they know the country has changed, and they know by the 2040s, white people will be the minority in this country. And that's really, the racial element of this never really gets discussed, but I think that is what's hugely driving them. In the era of Trump, the GOP and their supporters have turned everything on its head your parents taught you about right and wrong. Trump is clearly sinful, hateful, vindictive, and corrupt. As of December 16th, Trump has made over 15,000 deliberate false or misleading statements since becoming president. You have to second-guess every word that comes from the mouth of the so-called leader of the free world. But in the eyes of his card-carrying supporters, you are not allowed to criticize that or express any strong anti-Trump views. Given all that we have seen, and people, especially so-called Christians, still support this guy, maybe Michael Moore is right. Because these are not good people yeah. that are walking towards you. You should be afraid of them. What He's not going to be removed. He's not going to be removed. He's not going to be removed. You feel confident in that? I, my, my, my 357 Magnum is comfortable with that. End of story.